Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, Jesse here. Welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. Got a brand new one today coming from goodiestoys.com.au. I'll have links down in the description so you can click along and have a look. Especially here if you're in Australia, here's our free shipping over $99. So come and grab some figures. Um, Admiral Akbar. Really looking forward to this one. This is a great figure. Um, I have released an Admiral Akbar before, but that was the Force Awakens slash Last Jedi version. So uh, they've redeemed themselves um, by putting out the Akbar that probably should have come out first. But nonetheless, it's looking pretty great. Very excited to have Admiral Akbar. Let's take a closer look. All right, let's crack him open. I've got my trusty blade. Keep these away because we've got a few bits of tape to cut. Two, three, four. Five, six, I think that's it. I think that's it. Only six pieces of tape this time. <laughs> Let's rip him out of here nice and quick. Throw the package on the floor, I'll clean that up later. Throw the bubble on the floor, throw it out later. Pop the blaster out. And here we'll get a look at. Admiral, it's a trap, Akbar. First impressions, he's looking pretty good. Um, this sort of outer, outer vest thing is kind of a, a little bit on the bulky side, perhaps. Um, it is sort of sitting out there a little bit flappy. Um, looks like he's got a chesticles under there, <laughs> which he doesn't. Uh, I assume they've probably gone with the same head sculpt they use for the other Admiral Akbar, so he does have the uh, opening mouth. But it's a, it's a fine, fine head sculpt. And if they want to put out an army of Mon Cala soldiers and use the same mould every time, go for it. Got his flipper hands, which I never really understood how he got in the sleeves. But that looks good. This is just classic, classic Admiral Akbar from Return of the Jedi. So that looks like it's a. Uh... Oh, I assume that's glued. There, yeah, there's looks like there's a little join there, so you could flip it open and take it off. Um, not going to do that, but it's got all the nice get, um, pinless joints in the legs, so none of those, none of those pins that look like <laughs> they've put holes in the figures, um, looks quite good. You don't really need Admiral Wackbar to have a great deal of articulation anyway, so it works out pretty well. Overall, just a nice looking figure. It's good aesthetic. Just feels good, nice colours, nice bright white. Yeah, so it looks like if I can get that undone, it looks like it could probably come closed a little bit more. Uh, that might tighten up that vest a little bit more. But uh, it's probably just a uh, pretty generic body underneath. Um, which will probably be used for other figures in the future, but he's got all the new articulation, so he's not just a simple repaint of the other Akbar, because he's got the uh, butterfly joints in the arms there. Um, but I guess that vest does allow for some flexibility, so you can have him with his arms crossed. Which so that's actually not a bad display option. I wish he came with his uh, pointy stick. <laughs> As opposed to a, as opposed to a blaster, but we we'll look at the blaster anyway. He should have had his pointy stick um, that even came with the vintage one back in '83. So um, well, there was a little bit of a missing accessory there, but otherwise he's looking pretty damn good. I'm really digging the Admiral. Always great to have some more additions to the OT, OT shelves. Um, Specifically, Return of the Jedi. So 
So that's Admiral Akbar, guys. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, hit that like button if you dig what you've seen. Hit the subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Till then, may the force be with you. It's a trap! <laughs>